Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello dear students, I am Dr. Mona Semalti from HNB Garhwal University, Srinagar Garhwal and I welcome you all in this module of skin care cosmetics. So dear students, in continuation to our modules on cosmetics and cosmeceuticals, today in this module we are going to discuss skin care cosmetics. So skin care cosmetics are a very broad range of cosmetics. They are devoted which are applied to uh, skin for various purposes but in this module we will discuss skin care cosmetics especially we will discuss cold cream and vanishing cream because it is uh, very important and it is very frequently asked in the examinations so this is going to be our learning outcome so after going through from this module you will be able to know about skin care products what are different skin care products types of skin creams ingredients which are what are different ingredients and specialized ingredients which are used in skin creams cold cream vanishing cream their functions properties ingredient and formulation of the same so this is our lesson plan so dear students we will move like First, we will discuss skin care product, types of skin creams, ingredients used in the skin cream, vanishing cream, function, ingredient, formulation, and then cold cream, its functions, ingredients which are used, and formulation. So, skin care cosmetics. Skin care cosmetics are applied to the skin for improving and enhancing the appearance. So it improves appearance and the health of skin. So they are formulated for different types of skin. Skin care products includes creams, sunscreens, cleansers, facial mask, toners, moisturizers, tanning oils and lotions, skin lighteners and anti-aging cream. We'll start from skin creams okay so skin cream the usp defines skin cream as semi-solid emulsion of either oil in water or water in oil so semi-solid emulsions usually medicated intended for external application so creams are emulsions basically it can be oil in water or water in oil okay so these emulsions have and uh, we usually say about this for external application. If it is used for external application, so these are semi-solid preparations uh, medically intended for external application. Types of skin creams. What are the different types of skin creams? So makeup cream, okay, vanishing cream, foundation cream, uh, Vanishing cream which usually disappears after when it is rubbed on the skin. Makeup cream which is uh, specially specialized creams used uh, by beauticians to enhance the appearance of their customers. Okay, so the cleansing cream basically the function of cleansing cream is cleansing the face. So it gives clean basically this is for cleaning purpose. Okay, so creams for uh, winter very popular cold cream okay and cream for dry skin moisturizing cream so this is also very widely used moisturizing cream all-purpose cream and night creams especially applied uh, uh, at night time and uh, skin protective and hand cream so these are different types of creams now what are the common ingredients which are used in skin cream? Common ingredient we will discuss because we have in the 
previous slide we discussed the list of creams which are used for different purposes but the ingredients which are used in the formulation of these types of creams are common so commonly used ingredients we are discussing here that water oils fat and waxes okay mineral oil like light liquid paraffin and heavy liquid paraffin and glyceride oil almond oil and castor oil fats lauric palmitic stearic acid sesame oil olive oil coca butter are examples waxes are also part of common ingredients for creams lanolin okay derived from wool paint basically and glycol so ethylene glycol diethylene glycol and propylene glycol so these are some common ingredients apart from these ingredients we also use colors emollients okay emollients so dear students please remember we have uh, discussed emollients in detail that these emollients are part of cosmetic formulations as an excipient as well as they can be applied individually so the emollients also known as moisturizers and emulsifying agents so a list of emulsifying agents you can here write the emulsifying agent their classification and uh, based on their properties so inorganic solids gums proteins wetting agent type of surfactant active agent so we have also discussed this completely we uh, discuss one entire module on surfactants okay surface active agent basically they are they lowers the surface tension uh, surface tension so sulfonated oils fatty al alcohols uh, so these are few examples of wetting agents humectants we have also discussed humectants in detail protein acids and polysaccharides these are perfumes and some functional raw materials like vitamins amino acids anti inflammatory agents and they may be incorporated in the creams okay as per the requirement of formulator if it is a cosmeceutical uh, if some creams which comes under the category of cosmeceutical so the specialized ingredients are added in the formulation to impart that specific quality in the product okay so vitamins they may be amino acids anti inflammatory agents or some specialized agent and wrinkle uh, cream if it is okay and if it is used for some medical treatment okay so these are some common ingredients which are used in creams now we will move to the classification of creams so creams can be classified as as i said creams are basically emulsions okay so emulsions oil in water water in oil so water in oil emulsion the example is cold cream so always remember this is asked in the examination even if the question is in the form of uh, mcq okay multiple choice question so it may be asked and it is uh, oil in water emulsion example is vanishing cream so it may be asked like oil in water cream So you'll be given four option. Vanishing cream is the answer of oil in water and water in oil. The example is cold cream. Okay. So according to function, according to function, cleansing which is used for cleansing purpose, foundation, foundation creams are basically applied for makeup purpose to enhance the glow to the skin. So it's some sort of like some artificial glow imparting creams. They are moisturizing to keep Moisture uh, to moisten the skin to keep uh, it prevents the low uh, hydration uh, loss of water. So it keeps moist basically. So it is used for dry skin people. Now moving to vanishing cream. So vanishing cream, dear students, vanishing cream as it says vanishes away. Okay. So when it is applied and rubbed onto the skin. surface it disappears so this is uh, vanishing cream uh, it leaves no trace when rubbed into the skin so these are 
oil and water emulsions that contains large percentage of water and stearic acid so stearic acid the is the major ingredient of vanishing cream and other oleaginous components after application the continuous phase evaporates leaving behind a thin residue film of stearic acid so this is basics of vanishing cream when it is applied on the skin what happens it evaporates so it leaves no residue and the second thing is stearic acid in the water is the major ingredient okay moving next they have some properties like high melting point pure white cream okay very little odor and low iodine number and it is easily rubbed on the skin now major ingredients which are used in vanishing cream as i said stearic acid is the major component good quality triple pressed must be selected and the uh, it basically governs the consistency to the product alkali of course alkali are the important part of vanishing cream and very commonly used potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide sodium bi uh, sodium carbonate triethylamine borax so these are some examples of the alkali which are used in the formulation of a any kind of vanishing cream potassium hydroxide which is mostly used since it makes the cream fine texture without excessive harshness sodium and potassium hydroxide when used alone it forms the hard cream so it is not used individually it is combined so borax is used in combination okay so borax is used in combination to sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide so that a, a moist cream or a smooth cream can be formulated so carbonates are not favored and it liberates carbon dioxide and the and uh, sometimes a cream cream becomes spongy in nature they use okay so these are alkalies so this is the second most important ingredient stearic acid and alkali now humectants humectants are part of cream humectants we have already discussed in one module different classes we discussed should dear students please recall please recall humectants um, module of cosmetics and cosmeceuticals so humectant glycerol most favored followed by sorbitol and propylene glycol prevents the excessive drying humectant always prevents the excessive drying out of the cream okay so remember this line always always remember this line that humectant prevents excessive drying out of the cream okay so formulation of vanishing so this is one formulation just for your uh, just as an example i am discussing here that you can uh, if it comes in the examination so you can write any formula of vanishing cream oil phase and water phase aqueous phase okay there are two phases in the cream because when we make emulsion creams are emulsion and when we make emulsion there are two phases water phase and oil phase so oil phase stearic acid triple pressed and cetyl alcohol we use isopropyl Magistrate, so you can look at the quantities, okay, and the category and uh, aqueous phase, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, glycerol, water, perfume, and preservative. Preservative also we have discussed. So dear students, please recall preservatives too. That's why we discuss different excipients uh, of the cosmetics and cosmeceuticals in detail. So this is the formula: oil phase and water phase. So remember, just like two phases, you have to write oil phase, water phase. oil phase stearic acid triple plus cetyl alcohol isopropyl maristrate aqueous phase sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide glycerol water perfume and preservative so this is a this is the formula of vanishing cream so look at quickly quickly we will look at the procedure so what do you have to do you have to dissolve sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide in water add glycerol and preservative and you have to heat it to 80 degree centigrade so in an another vessel melt the stearic acid add cetyl alcohol and isopropyl maristrate these are oil phases and heat it to the 75 degree centigrade now add the alkali solution to the melted oily phase with good agitation when the mixture has cooled 
to about 45 degrees centigrade at the perfume and continue slow mixing until it cools cover it let it stand overnight okay so this is the procedure of vanishing cream so alkali so important thing about this thing alkali which reacts with some of the stearic acid to form a soap which then acts as a emulsifier okay the polyol glycerol prevents the loss of moisture what is the use of glycerin in vanishing cream formulation it prevents the loss of moisture stearic acid crystal gives the pearly shine okay this is with uh, like the elegancy of the product your product should look beautiful like so pearly shine your product will impart because of sodium stearate crystals uses vanishing cream used as a adhesive for makeup powder okay so it is applied first vanishing cream and then the powder with the help of powder puff the compact powder or the makeup powders are applied so adhesive it is used reduces loss of moisture from dry skin uh, smooths the skin and keeps it soft prevents the skin from rough roughness and chapping so these are some uses of vanishing cream now we will move to the cold cream very important cold cream the formulation the ingredients are very important and this question is very very frequently asked in the examination so dear students please just go through from this module so it's going to help you in your examination cold cream okay it is water in oil emulsion okay used as a moisturizer it is also used uh, makeup remover cleanser uh, the main principle of cold cream involves slow evaporation of the water phase which leads to the cooling sensation basically that is why it is cold cream borax beeswax are used as a as a emulsifier emulsifying agents so on application due to the evaporation of the water a cooling sensation is obtained so that is why these creams are called cold cream purpose of cold cream to protect the skin from dehydration it prevents the roughness and it maintains smoothness due to its emollient property protects skin from rupture or crack formulation oil phase of cream gives emolliency to the product and it also gives the elegancy to the product okay. emollient see remember when we studied emollient emollients in an mod, in an in a module of cosmetics and cosmeceuticals there we discussed the different formulation based emollients there we discussed about these creams which are used as an emollient so it can also be used as an emollient so this is one of the purpose some of the properties of cold cream should have ph of 4.6 Six. This is the pH range for cold cream. It may be asked in the examination that the cold cream has pH range of from one, two, three, four options. So you'll be given four option. You have to choose one. Okay. Consistency should be optimum. Always the cream should have the optimum consistency. That means should not be too hard or too thin. Uh, should not be sticky. Okay. Should be attractive in appearance. Okay, penetration through epidermis of the skin should be desirable. It should be easily able to penetrate the skin. Must be non-irritant, non-inflammatory. Okay, fine, and should give a cooling effect. So these are some properties of cold cream. Okay, ingredient used for preparation of cold cream. What are the ingredients which are used? Just we will see them quickly. Mineral oil, white beeswax, borax. okay alcohol glycerin alcohol glycerin lanolin perfume which provides fragrance borax which is used as emulsifier and responsible for the whiteness of the cream cold cream was traditionally based on the mixture of natural waxes and vegetable oil traditionally cold cream was based on the mixture of natural waxes and vegetable oils beeswax and olive oil which was stabilized by uh, with the help of borax okay 
so in a cold cream the proportion of the fatty acid and oil material predominates basically but the application to the skin results in the cooling effect which is produced from the slow evaporation of the water this we also discussed in the previous slides of this module that it leaves uh, with slow evaporation it gives the cooling sensation okay evaporation so the replacement of the part of mineral oil with up to 15% of petroleum jelly can be used to uh, produce the different textures and consistency further substitution with fatty acid esters such as isopropyl maristate it improves the thixotropic behavior of the cream thixotropic behavior means the flow basically this is the related to the thixotropy flow of the cream the consistency basically consistency of the cream we are talking about thus improving its spreading property so then it is going to contribute in the spreading it will spread very easily formulation of cold cream so this is the formulation of cold cream oil phase and aqueous phase okay oil phase okay mineral oil beeswax aqueous phase borax water preservative and perfume so here also okay i'll give you a trick how to remember the formula you have to write about two phases water phase and oil phase so when you have a list of ingredients just identify which is used in oil phase and which is used in water phase so in cold cream formulation oil phase is mineral oil beeswax and aqueous phase aqueous phase means those ingredients which are soluble in water and water is a part water borax preservative and perfume so the category uh, you can see in this table that mineral oil which is uh, oil phase the example of this is liquid paraffin used as a solvent and emollient here mineral oil is playing a role of emollient okay and overall the cream can itself play a role of emollient as we discussed beeswax thickening agent and emulsifier aqueous phase borax which is used as a emulsifier as an, as an emulsifier and it provides the whiteness water okay preservative which is antimicrobial and perfume is added for fragrance now moving to the procedure what is the procedure heat the mineral oil and beeswax in a jacketed vessel at 75 degree centigrade and maintain the heat in another container dissolve borax preservative in water and heat to 75 degree centigrade in aqueous phase so slowly add this aqueous phase to the oil phase mineral oil beeswax heated oil phase and cool it to the 35 degree centigrade and then finally you have to add the perfume so this is the procedure so dear students how cold cream question will come in the examination see cold cream define cold cream or discuss about cold creams in detail so you have to first define cold cream what are the common ingredient used in cold cream and their purpose what for they are used and the formula you can write uh, uh, for uh, better explanation you can write in formula stating two phases okay and the procedure you have to prepare oil phase separately water phase separately mix both the phases and finally add perfume so this is the procedure of cold cream now cold cream uses typically used for cleans the face face of makeup okay heavily moisturizes the dry skin it can be used as a for cracked lips okay because it has moisturizing property it is used to uh, even it is used to treat the dry skin and cracks shaving cream and alternative it can also be used as a shaving cream alternative for men now there are some few specialized ingredients which are used for cold cream okay what these ingredients are and what is the purpose of this cream see now we are little uh, uh, this uh, when we are talking about the cosmeceuticals okay cosmeceuticals in the earlier uh, in the previous modules i discussed about the cosmeceuticals what cosmeceuticals have some cosmetic as well as some therapeutic property all right 
they both the properties they have cosmeceuticals and only cosmetics have just uh, properties which enhance the appearance but they, sometimes few specialized ingredients are added into the formulations to impart the cosmeceutical property it depends on the formulation and it depends on the type of product uh, which we are going to prepare and the medical condition for which it will be used okay so a specialized ingredient we will discuss alpha hydroxy acids lactic acids so they help in removing the fine line irregular pigmentation uh, age spots okay anti aging cream basically these ingredients are added in anti aging cream and a few side effects like mild irritation and sun sensitive these are alpha hydroxy acid remember it is specialized ingredient which is used in cold cream next is beta hydroxy acid okay it removes the dead skin cells helps in removing acne okay hydro uh, quinone hydro quinone bleaching or lightening agent so nowadays you might have heard about some specialized skin lightening cream or this as uh, some sort of skin uh, different brands of skin lightening creams uh, which are available in the market so they are uh, prepared by using this specialized ingredient if you will read their label properly so you will come to know that hydroquinone bleaching and lightening agent they are so they are added and used in lightening the dark spots and age spots next is hyaluronic acid okay reverse aging so this is the important ingredient of anti aging creams which are available in the market mostly used for wrinkle treatment copper peptide it promotes the synthesis of hyaluronic acid okay hyaluronic acid which is responsible for the uh, it prevents basically it prevents the aging so it helps in reverse aging so helps in natural tissue building process so these two ingredients are specialized ingredients which are used in cold cream okay now is retinol and kojic acid retinol anti aging material it is similarly kojic acid is also anti aging material retinol it helps in improving skin texture and tone it removes the fine lines and wrinkles kojic acid basically it's a chelating agent produced by the several species of fungi okay especially aspergillus orize so it slows down the production of melanin the brown pigment okay so this is used in whitening cream fairness cream this kojic acid this is chelating agent produced by several species of fungi and it slows down the uh, production of melanin that is the brown pigment which is responsible for the brown or uh, the beetish color of the skin l-ascorbic acid so it is one of the form of vitamin c with age this, uh, and with the age and sun exposure the collagen collagen synthesis in the skin decreases leading to the wrinkle formation so it is the only accident proven to stimulate the collagen synthesis uh, minimizing lines scars and wrinkles so this is also a specialized ingredient which is added in cold cream okay normal cold cream just we just have two phases oil phase with this okay so these are few references just go through from this references now dear students let me summarize this module what all we discussed in this module we discussed about the skin care cosmetics basically what are different skin creams available which types of creams are available and we uh, discussed in detail about cold cream and vanishing cream so what what is cold cream vanishing cream and uh, creams different types and their classification and different ingredients which are used in cold cream some common ingredient as well as some specialized ingredient used in cold cream and vanishing cream uh, their formula we discuss and uh, we also discuss the procedure how to prepare these creams so this uh, is about the skin care product so in the coming module we are we will discuss the remaining skin care product like moisturizer lotions cleanser 
donors so all these things we will discuss in the coming module so dear students that's all uh, in this module and stay tuned for more videos on cosmetics and cosmeceuticals and thank you so much for watching this video